Yo, what's up, YouTube? We're on the last season of Game of Thrones, which is bittersweet to be honest man but in the last episode the wall came down i'm loving this i cannot wait to get into season eight i'm nervous because i feel like there's only six episodes so like a lot has, a lot to, happen, has to happen yeah. and that's nerve-wracking that's the feeling that i'm getting but i didn't really want to voice that because i didn't want to put that energy in the air but yeah. that's definitely something that has been on the forefront of my thoughts man this series has to wrap up very fast so yes we got a long ways to go short time to get there we eastbound baby let's, let's go, go. <laughs> Different dragon fire. Whoa. This is nuts already. What the heck, man? Why do I got chills? I literally. I never thought this would change. Me either. Last hearth. Look, it's hey, frozen we haven't, up. I was about to say winter came. Oh, oh man. man. Bro, it's looking clean right now, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Back in control, baby. I bet people are hype as hell. I, like, I can only imagine how I would feel. You know what I'm saying? I'd have been walking away. Oh my away gosh, like is that the James phrase? Like, <laughs> Was that the Red Wedding? Is that the Crips? Yeah. Oh. Oh my God, the Lannisters. And oh, dude. Oh, That's did the you Red see Wedding. The, yeah. This makes oh, the. That's the wild. Map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the tower. Oh my gosh, I want to cry because the callbacks are so insane right Bro, now. Bro, I feel like I fell into an alternate reality or something. You get what I'm trying to say? What's your name? <laughs> nope. That was wild, dude. I love that. Oh, this little lad knows winter's coming. Where are you going, little Mike? <laughs> the Unsullied? I know you saw those spears. Yeah, the. It's the March it. noise for me. <laughs> That pace. <laughs> this reminds me of Brand season one. And Arya. I think that's why Arya was so pleased right there, because that's like a young Arya. Oh, he's climbing those. So yeah, but like that's what, yeah, yeah, because he was like looking like he wanted to see the aren't the king pull in or whatever. <gasps> we stack, baby. Don't, they're not all gonna fit in there though. Yeah, I was about to say this is gonna be it's gonna be some stressed out souls. <laughs> she is. Oh, the Queen and Kings. It's Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> and Jay-Z. Yeah. What the heck? I'll be like, I know you. You're my brother. John. <laughs> Do you remember me? <laughs> That's my dad. So this is going to be another reunion episode, I can see. Mm -hmm. That's some guy <laughs> that I know. That was for her, mostly. Mm -hmm. At least your balls won't freeze off. You take great offense at dwarf jokes, but love telling eunuch jokes. Because I have balls, and you don't. Evil. Look at the North remembering. The what? Who the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Why are they in our castle? I warned you. Northerners don't watch trust outsiders. Oh, you the dragons. Did you hear that? May the gods protect us. <laughs> Arya. <laughs> she had a little smirk about it. I love it. She's wondering if she can cut that thing's face off. And wear it? <laughs> yeah. Are you happy or? Sansa's not intimidated. That's a challenge to her. Look at her. She's like, just don't marry me off to one of those and we're good. Speaking of Ramsey Bolton, that <laughs> dragon. <laughs> uh -oh. He about smiled. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Oh, he is smiling. Oh, let's John. go. I've been waiting on this. Look at you. 
You're a man. Almost. <laughs> what a buzzkill. <laughs> He's just saying, well, you know what he's saying, right? Yeah, but like, you know, when you're excited to see someone you ain't yeah. seen in a minute and they just are like, meh. He's like, I know what you did with that wild one woman, John. <laughs> Where's are you? Lurking somewhere. My sister, Sansa Stark, the Lady of Winterfell. I'm Lady Stark. The North is as beautiful as your brother claimed. <laughs> Winterfell is yours, Your Grace. We don't have time for all this. <laughs> the Night King has your dragon. He's one of them now. He could sense the hostility the and he just yeah. called it out. I love it. Called all our banners to retreat to Winterfell. Expect your people <sighs> to arrive. We need more horses and wagons, if it please, my lady. And my lord. And my queen. You'll have as many as we can spare. Hurry back to Last Hearth and bring your people here. That's so sad that little kid's got to step up. But he's doing it. As well. no I know sense lady, in the castles anymore. The lady in Barron is here. the same, but she's kind of a Advanced boss, though. Mm -hmm. I expect that of her. Your grace. Oh, here she goes. But you're not, are you? You left Winterfell a king and came back a... I'm not sure what you are now. A lord? A Nothing at all? We named you King in the North. Man, she's got dragons. <laughs> <laughs> you did. But when I left Winterfell, I told you we need allies or we will die. John can de-escalate any situation by just agreeing. <laughs> You're right, milady. You did. I had a choice. I chose the North. Hey. I can respect that. Good call, Jonathan. If anyone survives the war to come, we'll have Jon Snow to thank. We have brought two full-grown dragons. Should have been three. And soon the Lannister army will ride north to join our cause. They're like, uh, hell no. I know, I know. Our people haven't been friends in the past. But we must fight together now. Or die. How are we meant to feed the greatest army the world has ever seen? While I ensured our stores would last through winter, I didn't account for Dothraki, Unsullied, and two full-grown dragons. Right, and that's a lot of food. Right, the logistics, dragons though. Anyway, <laughs> whatever they want. <laughs> Maybe John some just redheads. In the middle of that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, careful, lads. We nice catch there. Oh, that's the dragon glass. Are these the last of the wagons? My lord, my lady. Oh, exes. Let's go. They might be the only married couple to ever exist that didn't do it. <laughs> lady of Winterfell. Has a nice ring to it. So does Hand of the Queen. Depending on the Queen, I suppose. Last time we spoke was at Joffrey's wedding. Miserable affair. It had its moments. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about jokes about Tyrion, but I can't say them. That was Cersei Jr. It was a bit hard to explain why my wife fled moments after the King's murder. We both survived. Many underestimated you. Most of them are dead now. Let's go. Mm hmm. Survivor, baby. Somebody commented on her channel the other day and said, I effing hate Sansa with like 30 exclamation points. I don't know why. Whoever you are, man, explain. No one fears her more than I do, but I promise you'll be safe. Cersei told you her army was coming north. She's like, LOLs. She has something to live for now. I believe she wants to survive. Or was it all a trick? I used to think you were the cleverest man alive. Even more than Littlefinger. He was like, oh. He's like, yeah, I used to drink a lot more, too. It's like you dagger linden son of a <laughs> i know what you did with them boats and them <laughs> sewage lines you used to be taller oh how did you sneak up on me how did you survive a knife through the heart <laughs> i didn't oh <laughs> finally just a really happy voice i know one that actually is feel good not stressful <laughs> not like a brand situation where he's making everyone feel awkward <laughs> <laughs> like, we knows, get it, Brian. You know he knows what they did. <laughs> he was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> "Yeah, I know about you." Needle. 
He's That's like, so cute. Westeros yeah, CCTV. Hell yeah, she's used it. Once or twice. Nope. Have you used that? Yup. Valyrian steel. Jealous? <laughs> Too heavy for me. She's so modest. <laughs> Where were you before? I could have used your help with Sansa. She doesn't like your queen, does she? Sansa thinks she's smarter than everyone. <laughs> she says I'm defending our family. So is she. The pack's got to stay strong. I'm her family too. Yeah, you about to be. Don't forget that. Oh. Yeah, you about to be conflicted, my boy. If you ever find out the truth. Yeah, when Bran rolls up on you. <laughs> I love how he's got the same scar as John Locke, though. Almost because, you know, John Locke in a sense came back from the dead, even though he really didn't, and lost. Oh they yeah. They just had the same exact scar. I, I never thought about that. Terrible news. The dead have broken through the wall. Good. But <laughs> she wants them to kill all of her enemies. Yeah, but what does she think that her enemies are gonna come back dead, along with many more? <laughs> I think my headphones have like three different sound modes, and I think you click it, and put it on the the bad mode because yours are on the noise canceling right now and when mine are noise canceling they sound great how dare you why don't you just get it over with and kill me because that wouldn't be with weird sister the last great joys left in the world niece the last ones with balls anyway <laughs> if i kill you who can i talk to <laughs> you pick the losing side then i'll sell the iron fleet somewhere else he puts a lot of stock in that iron fleet, don't he? Mm-hmm. But first, I'm gonna f*** the queen. <laughs> he really wants to do that. I know, he's all about that. Whichever one. 20,000 men, is it? Yes, Your Grace. A few died in transit. <laughs> or maybe I'm They weren't good fighters. That's disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> I was told the Golden Company had elephants. In any event, you are most welcome here in King's Landing, <laughs> Captain Strickland. We look forward to fighting on your behalf. Your Grace. New character. In That's who they'd be sending from the Golden Company. Captain Strickland. <laughs> an elephant. Like, I'm doing it for you, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, and Captain I'm John Strickland. <laughs> you are a true friend of the Crown. As a true friend and an honored guest. Is it? I was hoping we could talk in private. No shot. After Ugh. That was our agreement. Wars sometimes last. Oh, he meant like talk. I thought he meant. You want a queen? Earn her. Hey, okay, Cersei. How? Be related to me. I've given her justice. <laughs> My heart is nearly broken. I've executed men for less. <laughs> they were lesser men. Yeah, you're being used, bro. You're gonna go down in history. <laughs> we'll sing about you for a thousand <laughs> years. Oh, she just was like, come on, brother. <laughs> Ugh, she looked disgusted, didn't she? She said, you know what? Maybe I just have to do this. She was more into Lancel when he was skinny. <laughs> when he was Red Riding Hood, like. I hear the dragon burn up a thousand Lannister men. When the show was hilarious. Boys. Archie, was it? Yeah, tall, handsome William. I am the only man you ever met who shot a dragon. Did you? <laughs> Why are they like not impressed? They just said that's brave. Apologies for the interruption, but the Queen did urge me to hurry. Another time, perhaps. I love his confidence. Like, like they're so worried about it. <laughs> you ever get lonely? I am partial to older gentlemen. He's like, I'll be experimenting on you later, honey. Poor <laughs> girl. The pox was <laughs> within the... When Queen Cersei wants something, she pays in advance and in gold. Several chests of it, in fact, waiting for you in a wagon just outside. Right. She has other plans for the Targaryen girl. Yeah, well, good luck with that. <laughs> Our Queen's brothers are unlikely to survive their northern adventures, but in the event that they... Oh, that's Joffrey's bow, she ain't it? She has a keen sense of poetic justice. Kill Tyrion. Family. Man, you can't kill Tyrion. What does she do for the manor ritzer of her treasonous brothers? I love the music in the background. I love how we finally get to see what type of character this man has. Who, Bronn? Yeah, because you know he does everything for Some money. the profit show. Yeah. But he's not going to kill Tyrion. Man. He's too good of a dude. I wanted those elephants. <laughs> She's like the damn Ringley brothers over here. She wants those elephants so bad. How do I compare to the fat king? Enjoy risking your neck, don't you? <laughs> Do I please the queen? You might be the most arrogant man I've ever met. I feel like she likes it for some reason, which is weird. Is she serious? <laughs> she might be playing the game, though. I'm going to put a prince in your belly. 
Did she almost vomit right there? I couldn't tell. Maybe because like she's already pregnant, even though she's drinking wine, That's which is confusing. I was about to say she's drinking wine. But maybe she could like sell it off as her and Euron's kid instead of her and Jamie's, as usual. <laughs> I thought she quit hiding it at this point. I thought so too, but you know. Was that Theon? Oh, he's on the rescue mission? Mm-hmm. I don't know where he got all this courage from all of a sudden. I really don't. Redemption. Like, don't get me wrong, I love it, but where was that energy? She didn't even seem, like, happy. Well, because he owes her that. <laughs> yeah, he's still oh. in the negative. <laughs> That's our Yara. I'd still be pissed, though. I love that. They didn't even need to talk to each other. She's like so annoying. You're on She's like, I'm defending I'm glad you got your balls back. Let's just not talk not about it. Not even seen King's enough. Landing with all his men and his ships. We can take our home back. You're know, my queen. I go where you command. You want to go to Winterfell to fight for the Starks? Aww. What is dead may never die. A. We kill the bastards anyway. Mm -hmm. Love that for Theon. Yep. Guys, y'all know I give Theon a hard time, but I love you, Theon. Except the fact that you killed John Wick's dog, which gives you, like, you are like, started here at the beginning. You didn't even get the middle ground for me. <laughs> the car stocks. One of the better sigils. Beats an onion, anyway. <laughs> Can't Low blow. That. The Northmen are loyal to Jon Snow, not to her. They don't know her. The free folk don't know her. And I'm telling you, they're stubborn as goats. Mm -hmm. You want their loyalty? You have to earn it. Facts. I sense that you're leading to a proposal. Proposal is what I'm proposing. <laughs> on the off chance that we survive. The what if the Seven Kingdoms, for once in their whole shit history, Aww. they do make a handsome couple. But power corrupts, though. John and Daenerys don't want to listen to lonely old men. <laughs> Not that old. <laughs> so we don't remind them of an unpleasant truth? Nothing lasts. Basically. What do you think they were talking about? <laughs> Them two right there? Yeah. Wow, like they need to <clears throat> plant some grass seed when the winter <laughs> finally goes away. It's looking muddy out there. She doesn't know you. But I am her queen. If she can't respect me. Maybe Drogon will teach her a little something. I'm just kidding. Can I say a chef? I got the door of Simbaf. That's how many they ate. What's the matter? The dragons are barely eating. Barely? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're big AF. <laughs> like, Jeez. Look at them, they're like, oh, we're so hungry. Why don't we go out to sea? See if they can catch a whale. Right, exactly. What's wrong this with the sight though? They don't like the north. They said it's cold as hell. We was wearing pesos. He said 31 goats. <laughs> go on. I don't know how to ride a dragon. Nobody does until they ride a dragon. What makes her think that he's just gonna... What if he doesn't want me to? <laughs> right. Then I've enjoyed your company, Jon Snow. Oh, he's basically saying, come on, brother. Good thing there's not three dragons. One would be left out. She has to know he's a little targ in him. Man, I'd like, stop moving, dragon, for you poke me in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> he said, all right, two horns. God. Yeah, but, like, does she not, like, a little bit? He's Targaryen, has to be, because... How can just Joe Schmo ride this dragon? Man, y'all have to get me some of them ski goggles. But that's cool, because that's the one that's named after his dad, ain't it? Mm -hmm. That's beautiful touch right there. Showing off. They said, wait a minute, is that Jonathan? John's so lucky, he has like wolf and dragons now. <sighs> Hell no. Bro, this feels like that damn Red Bull commercial. Y'all know the one with the airplanes flying through the tunnel? It just looks majestic. If I was her, I would definitely be working on a saddle of some sort. I know, like, a, like hit up Sansa for one. Because in real life, I don't think I could hold on to that. Not for that long. Without getting chafed up, geez. That was cool though, John. Aren't you impressed with yourself? We could stay a thousand years. Ooh, the call back to Egret. It's cold up here for a southern girl. So keep your queen warm. Man, John likes him all the way from the north to the south, don't he? Mm-hmm. He don't got a type. Mm -mm. But you know what? That's your aunt, brother. <laughs> That's 
what he's trying to tell him. Yeah, he's like, dude, y'all related. I don't know if y'all know that. Isn't that weird? They're like trying to tell them something, or are they like supporting it? <laughs> well, he might have been, you know, jock blocking. <laughs> Isn't easy making a blade that big with dragon glass. Oh, you're good. Leave him be. Oh, me stepdaughter. I love this. You left me to die. First, I robbed you. That's my girl. Forgive her. He does. He taught her that. <laughs> you're a cold little bitch, aren't you? <laughs> Yes, that's why he's still alive. That was a nice axe you made for him. We've got him better. I mean, you look good. Thanks. You're like a girl now. That's great. Here's my wish. Can you make it? Was that a paintbrush? Can you make it or not? <laughs> Lyrian Steel. I always knew you were just another rich girl. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Come in. Lord Glover wishes us good fortune, but he's staying in Deepwood Mont with his men. That's kind of risky, Glover right? We'll stand behind House Stark as we have for a thousand years. Isn't that what he said? I never wanted a crown. All I wanted was to protect the North. I brought two armies home with me, two dragons. And a Targaryen queen. Without her, we don't stand a chance. Do you have any faith in me at all? Faith, though. You know I do. <clears throat> From Sansa's perspective. Obviously, John's right. She'll be a good queen for all of us. She's not her father. Right, I mean, they are worried about her father, like, doing all that craziness. Did you bend the knee to save the North? Or because you love her. Maybe both, okay? So you're the man. Which man am I? <laughs> <laughs> the one who saved Sir Jorah when no one else could. Well, there must be something I could give you. If it's not too much trouble, <laughs> I could use a pardon. <laughs> For what crime? The sword, Dylan? I borrowed a few oh. <laughs> from the Citadel. Also a sword. It's been in House Tarly for generations, so it would have been mine anyway, eventually. She took care of him for you, don't worry. Oh, you House Tarly, Tarly now. <laughs> I offered to let him retain his lands and titles if he bent the knee. Then he turned him into a barbecue. <laughs> at least I'll be allowed home again. Now that my brother's the Lord. Oh, no. Your brother stood with your father. Oh. He's like, damn, what a, what a reward. I know. He's like, they suck, but they were still my family. Yeah. But that's just the game they play, though, man. You've been the mirror, you, you die. Your grace for telling me. She was bold for that, though, because I would have had to ride a raven and run off. What are you doing out here? Waiting for an old friend. Time to tell John the truth. You're his brother. Shouldn't you tell him? I'm not his brother. He trusts you more than anyone. Now's the time. Perfect timing. While he's praying over his not dad. Sam. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Will you hide him from me? Of course not. <laughs> what are you doing in Winterfell? What's wrong? Gilly? Is she alright? Don't you know? Know what? Daenerys. She executed my father and brother. <laughs> they were prisoners. We need to end this war. Would you have done it? I've executed men who disobeyed me. You've also spared men. Thousands of wildlings when they refused to nail. I wasn't a king. You've always been. I gave up my crown, Sam. So. Bent the knee. I'm not king in the north anymore. I'm not talking about the king in the north. I'm talking about the king of the bloody seven kingdoms. It's a heavy way to inter introduce a subject, man. Right. Your mother was Lyanna Stark. And your father, your real father, was Rhaegar Targaryen. <sighs> You've never been a bastard. You are Aegon Targaryen, true heir to the Iron Throne. Dang, your egg. My father was the most honorable man I ever met. He said he lied to me all my life. He promised your mother he'd always protect you. You can't protect Anything. somebody. Robert but, would have yeah. murdered you if he knew. Right. You're the true king. Aegon Targaryen, sixth of his name, protector of the realm, all of it. Wow. Daenerys is our queen. She shouldn't be. Yeah, go tell her that. You gave up your crown to save your people. Would she do the same? But it doesn't matter. We need to unite. This is making it hard. Yeah, Daenerys is hell bent on that crown too, man. It's her whole entire identity. Mm -hmm. That's scary. You think John's first thing he thought was, holy crap, does that mean I can sing? <laughs> <laughs> no. And he was like, that makes sense why I can ride dragons now. It makes sense why <clears throat> Lady Stark hated my ass. She just sensed it. Mm -hmm. Are they at, um, what's that place? Uh, it doesn't, <clears throat> there's no indication of where they're at, I don't think. It's just close to the wall, obviously. I thought they said it earlier when they were talking. 
Stay back, he's got oh, blue whoa. eyes! I've Jimmy. always had blue eyes! <laughs> he would have got you. <laughs> He'd have tore me up. Did you find anyone? That's pretty cool that that serves as a torch. <gasps> no! The Yellow Boy. That's where they're at. The heart from the mountain. Right. That place I showed at the His beginning. between us and Winterfell. We're on foot. If the horses last, we'll get there before the dead. Did you see his eyes just, just open up? to hope the Night King doesn't come <laughs> first. Oh! Aww. He was just getting his people down there. Poor, poor Nug. Yeah, they made the wrong decision. That's that symbol that looks Targaryen AF to me, doesn't it? But it's the Night King symbol too, isn't it? Mm-hmm. To be honest, man, I'm not sure if we're gonna clash with the army like in the last episode or right now. Right. It's they're, it's stressing they're me right out. on their heels. I know. They're saying the army was between there and Winterfell, right? Are they gonna get back to warn them? Is this Benjen? Because <laughs> the horse. <laughs> Sir Jamie. Dang you. Sir Jamie in Winterfell. He's not blonde anymore. I mean, don't get me wrong, I knew he was coming, but it's just so weird to see. You never thought he'd go back there. Oh, no. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not even the same dude, Jamie. This is a three-eye. You don't even know. But Jamie's still going to probably be like this the whole time. That was highly uncomfortable. So basically, man, we got drama. We got a lot of drama. What I got from that episode was there was lots of choices that need to be made right now. Like, um, for example, I'm just going off what I, the last scene I saw. So basically, Jamie saw Brian and Brian could be like, you know, bitter about, you know, he's in a wheelchair because of Jamie or he could unite things. He could bring things together for the bigger picture, just as John figuring something out like that. He could either, you know, stir up things with Daenerys or he could keep uniting everyone to fight this, you know, to fight the Night King and and all the um, what what whites and whites walkers. You know, there's a lot of drama because the army of the dead. Basically, this was the first time that you really felt for someone on behalf of their cause against Daenerys. So I really felt for Sam because his brother didn't really deserve to die, man. But obviously, this is a world where your name and your honor and your house means everything. It's kind of silly that. He chose to die right there, knowing that Sam was the last brother left. Mm -hmm. But I can understand why Sam was hurting. But I don't really fault Daenerys in a sense because, I don't know, man, I kind of do fault her. But then again, I kind of don't. I hate to say, I hate that there's this double standard of brutality and, you know, conquest. But when it comes to Daenerys, she has to be perfect. Like, I don't really believe in that. Right. But like I said, I just thought it was always a little unfair because she had dragons, so it didn't feel like a fair fight. You know, man, she's really holding herself together. She's doing what appears to be the right thing. I've really come a long way in liking her. But now there's just this drama around John is basically supposed to be the king. And it's funny because leadership's always been something that's been drawn to John, right? Right. Her response to this will tell everything, you know? Right. John drove... Uh, John hopped on a dragon and drove it this episode, which, which is, was wild. It was wild, but to me, it was kind of like, I feel like maybe after she knew he was Targaryen, she would do that. But to me, I thought that was kind of weird that she would just like, hop on, you know? Hop on my dragon. Yeah, start, go ahead. Hop on. Start her up. Snow. Yeah, start her up. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and start her up. Yeah, take her for a ride. But no. Right. She was a 6P too. Yeah, like... Uh, he obviously y'all are this close to a war and you're just going to have this man go up flying dragons. That to me was a little uh, like maybe maybe that was a little plot hole. Maybe. But the at the end of the day, I was happy to see him doing it, which, you know, I was sitting there thinking, oh, why? But I was still thrilled when he did it. So I love the reunions, man. I love the yeah. fact that everyone's finally in Winterfell, which is basically where the show started. So it's really important that we're ending it there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I definitely love that part. Love seeing new places and Basically, Cersei just needs to get it together. It seems like Cersei's just so hell bent and dug in on the idea that everyone's conspiring against her. So, in her mind, man, she probably thought that, you know, that dead thing that they brought was just an abomination created by like another Kyburn another <laughs> figure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what she's thinking. I don't know. 
if she's really pregnant or if she's not. She finally gave in right. uh, to Euron. And yeah, his... to Euron's stinky looking self, <laughs> and and what? And then he reached down, grabbed her stomach, and was like, "I'm gonna put a baby in you." <laughs> she read the room, man. She obviously didn't want you to say that, <laughs> and it was just kind of creepy, all in all. So, really, really like Cersei's character though, because I like the fact that she is so hard headed in a sense, because there mm. are people like that in real life, and you know. Everyone has so much logic and reasoning in the show, and it's kind of nice to see her. Well, I guess she does have it, but in her own way, just be completely irrational. So uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny to see. And man, we got another episode to go, so let's go. Right. You got anything that we missed, baby? Um, no. I mean, there's we just have to watch more. I mean, I think kind of what I did see was a little a, a tear between John's character in this because Arya made it kind of a point whenever John was like. Hey, let me talk a little smack about Sansa. Arya was like, nah, us Stark stick together, you know? Mm-hmm. And to me, that was like a, a, a like maybe foreshadowing moment that Jon's going to have to make a choice between Stark and Targaryen, which if you want to think about it, he was always a Stark. Which you know? he has and the he same decision. Stark. Sorry to interrupt you, sweetie. I just, you know me, I'll forget my thought. Yeah. It's really important to point out. He basically has the same decision to make as Theon. Different circumstances, right. but same decision. So. Yeah, because, you know, but at the end of the day, he was also, he's always been a Stark and he still is a Stark. Right. It's just he had different parentage. Like, so his dad wasn't always his dad. But to me, I feel like Ned's his dad. You know what I'm saying? Ned yeah, is his dad. Sure. Rhaegar didn't know him. So, yeah. so basically, Rhaegar is just his, like. His, no fault. No fault. Of Rhaegar. Yeah, you know? I mean, he, he died at the Trident. What could he do? But um, We could have dodged it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I guess. but Just, just joking. Um, but when Robert's swinging an axe at you, what can you do? Just want to point <laughs> out, man, I absolutely love, 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 love the redemption with Theon. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know a lot of people were saying, oh, well, what was he supposed to do? Just go fight Euron and die? Like, my thought was like, well, maybe, maybe he should have, right? Because. Right. Just to prove to his sister that he like. Like, how do you know yeah. the minute he jumped off the boat, they wouldn't have just put a rope around his neck and tied him up to the side of the boat and he'd have been dead anyway. So in hindsight, I'm glad he went. I'm glad he saved her. That was great. I just think in real life, he wouldn't have got that opportunity. Right. And I'm just glad to see it. His character definitely needs some redemption. So I'm glad that he's coming around. I really like his character. I like his character, guys. I I just dug in so hard early on, like freaking months ago at this point. But I dug in on that and here we are, baby. And his character is like up and down because I remember there was one episode in the beginning where this man was having like a, a speech about like let's take him on when he was taking Winterfell, right? And he it was so like it was funny. It was just like it's just funny to see his character just change so much. Well, it's almost like he's someone who, when he's around a bunch of people, when he's around people, he feeds off that energy and he's mm-hmm. bold. But then when it really comes down to it, he's really just scared of little Theon, and he can't really live up to his house name and because he's not really sure, and, you know, he's not sure yeah. of himself. And I hope. When there's finality to it, Theon gets to find out himself. Yeah. That would be lovely. Somebody the clever. Yeah, I was like, when I was a child. I saw a picture of him. My brother would tell it's me like, a bedtime story <laughs> about the man who murdered our father. Who stabbed him in the back and cut his throat. Oh. He who sat it. down on the Iron Throne and watched as his blood poured onto the floor. He told me other stories as well about all the things we would do to that man once we took back the Seven Kingdoms and had him in our grasp. Your sister pledged to send her army north. She did. I don't see an army. I see one man with one hand. It appears your sister lied to me. Come on. She lied to me as well. She never had any intention of sending her army north. She has Euron Greyjoy's fleet and 20,000 fresh troops. The Golden Company from Essos, bought and paid for. Even if we defeat the dead, She'll have more than enough to destroy the survivors. We. I promise to fight for the living. I intend to keep that promise. A knight. Your Grace, I know my brother. Like you knew your sister. He came here alone, knowing full well how he'd be received. Why would he do that if he weren't telling the truth? Perhaps he trusts his little brother to defend him, right up to the moment he slits my throat. He has been taken out of here again. He attacked my father in the streets. He tried to destroy my house and my family the same as he did yours. Do you want me to apologize? I won't. We were at war. Everything I did, I did for my house and my family. I'd do it all again. The things we do for love. Oh, <laughs> the receipts, boy. <laughs> so why have you abandoned your house and family now? Because this goes beyond loyalty. Brian's like so into this. Survival. Oh, there she goes. You don't know me well, Your Grace. 
But I know Sir Jamie. He is a man of honor. I was his captor once. But when we were both taken prisoner and the men holding us tried to force themselves on me, Sir Jamie defended me. She's going to receive that. And lost his In a bear. Because of it. Without him, my lady, you would not be alive. He armed me, armored me, and sent me to find you and bring you home because he'd sworn an oath to your mother. You vouch for him. I do. I love that. I was about to say, that's one of my favorite moments. Oh, so good. You would fight beside him. I would. I trust you with my life. If you trust him with yours, we should let him stay. I love that too. What do you say, Daenerys? What does the Warden of the North say about it? Oh, not your boyfriend? Well, he likes Tyrion, so he might be alright. We need every man we can get. Hell yeah. Consistency, John. If you got a heartbeat, give him a sword. Mm -hmm. If you got lungs, give him a knife. And if you Very got well. toes, <laughs> <laughs> give him boots. <laughs> you hear Ryan screaming in his room? Mm-hmm. He's going wild. Be nice, Grey Worm. He said, I don't know about you. Thank you, Your Grace. It's all good, guys. Jamie, Jamie just grows on you after time. She'll come around. Yeah. Costumes, though. Loving. Maybe Bran's looking at him like, was lying. you turned Let it around, brother. <laughs> well, you didn't know at all, which makes you either a traitor or a fool. I was a fool. Not for the first time. Cersei still sits on the throne. If you can't help me take it back, I'll find another hand who can. Dang, he's trying. He, he really is. I suspect one of you will be wearing this before it's all over. Well, dang, I don't like that. I, I don't like that energy at all. Come on, T. So maybe the temptation is getting strong for her. This man in the weeds. Ashes and all, you know. Why is she looking all seductive at him? I know. <laughs> I like her little cape, though, that she has. It's cool. Hey, you have something better to do? You make my weapon yet? Just as soon as I'm done making a few thousand of these. You should make mine first and make sure it's stronger than this. It's strong Ooh. The work. The artistry. It's going to be safer down in the crypt, you know. Are you going to be down in the crypt? No, but... But you're a fighter. You've done my share. You fought them? I did. Some of them. How many? Few. What are they like? Really bad. Really bad? <laughs> <laughs> Even a smith's apprentice can do better than really bad. Look, I know you want to fight. I know you're not scared of rapers or murderers or... This is different. This is... This is death. Man, she would beat you a hundred times out of a hundred. That's what they're like. Death. <laughs> That's what they're like. I know death. <laughs> that guy's like, I don't want to. Faces. I look forward to seeing this one. Oh. <sighs> My weapon. I'll get right on it. <laughs> Man, that's kind of cold, huh? Mm-hmm. Sorry, to be honest, babe, I'm just like, what's the word? Anxious? Is yeah, that what it is? Anxious. Like, I'm, I'm just anxious. waiting. I don't, I, yeah, I don't know what's about to happen. It's about to be wild. Why would he go talk to him? <laughs> I'm sorry for what I did to you. You weren't sorry then. You were protecting your family. I'm not that person anymore. You still would be. If you hadn't pushed me out of that window. And I would still be Brandon Stark. You're not? No. I'm something else now. You're not angry at me. I'm not angry at anyone. Why didn't you tell them? You won't be able to help us in this fight if I let them murder you first. It's bigger than this. What about afterwards? How do you know there is an afterwards? That's scary. What if that's how it ends? Everyone's just dead. Right. And when they're like, I don't like the ending. That's why. <laughs> yeah. I'm over here like, why are they always making prequels? Because <laughs> they're there all dead. Nothing. And the earth's frozen. If you, want, if you just want hours of just winds blowing. Well, here we are. Together again. 
the Kingslayer Rose. <laughs> that is rejoice. How do they feel about their new queen? She's your new queen, too. They remember what happened the last time Targaryens brought dragons north. They'll come around once they see Daenerys is different. She is. What if her son is that, though? Are you sure about her? I am. She didn't seem sure about you. I made a mistake common to clever people. I underestimated my opponents. So they told me the pregnancy had changed her. Chance for you both to start again, and I believed. Was she lying about the baby, too? No. That part is real. So is she drinking so water or cranberry juice? juice. Yeah, right. <laughs> You be too hard on yourself. She's fooled me more than anyone. What? She never fooled you. You always knew exactly what she was. And you loved her anyway. Thanks. It's cool to see them though here. Do you think uh, he feels free? I feel like he just got a divorce. Yeah. <laughs> to die at Winterfell. <laughs> Winterhell. I would have chosen. I always pictured myself dying in my own bed, at the age of eighty. With a belly full of wine and a girl's, girl's mouth, mouth around, around my He never changes. There's definitely worse ways. Cersei won't get to murder me. I'm sure I'll feel some satisfaction denying her that pleasure while I'm being ripped apart by dead men. Maybe after I'm dead, I'll march down to King's Landing and rip her apart. <laughs> <laughs> he smiled. He smiles about it. <laughs> The lovely Brian. I feel like Jamie just needs to make a move. Go beat up Tormund and just take her. <laughs> Tormund? <laughs> He's not an obstacle. Okay. Look at Pod with the with the new haircut. Dang, look at him. Backing him down. <laughs> so Jamie. Lady Brian. <laughs> okay, Podrick. Learn from the best. He's alright. There's a lot to learn. <laughs> sure you'll teach Being hard on him. Why am I so proud of him? What are you doing? What? I think you know. I truly don't. We have never had a conversation last this long without you insulting me. Not once. <laughs> you want me to insult you? No. Good. I came to Winterfell because I'm not the fighter I used to be. But I'd be honored to serve under your command if you'll have me. Man, that's so... Aww. Let me freaking cry over... Hmm. I love that. I better get back. I feel like if Cersei, like, sniffed out that dynamic, she'd probably hang her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Forgive me, Elise. Have you done something to offend me? Many things. Long ago and long forgiven. But you did forgive, despite my failures. When I heard you named Tyrion your hand. You want to go get on the rhyme? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me go get on to my son real quick. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. My son is a Dothraki screamer. <laughs> he was oh, screaming. Man. He really was. I think he was watching uh, like some physics books <laughs> on YouTube. But yeah, he's... books. Guys, if you have toddlers, books is where it's at. B-O-O-K-S. Because it shows the um, story and it reads it along with them. Like subtitles, right. it like... It's good. Yeah, our little one hasn't started preschool yet, but the dude can just read, man. I don't yeah. know where it came from. It was like, it's almost like it was just given to him like a gift. But right. From the time he could start talking, he could just read any word. It's mm -hmm. bizarre. He's very good at it. Maybe his books. Books. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah. When I heard you named Tyrion your hand, it broke my heart. When I named him hand, I didn't know if I'd ever see you again. You made the right choice. I wasn't under the impression you liked him very much. No, I didn't. Mouth hardly stopped moving between Melantis and Marine. It was all <laughs> I could do not to throw him in the sea. But the mind behind all those words. He's made mistakes. As have we all. He owns his. And learns from them. You're advising me to forgive the man who stole your position. Basically. <laughs> and one other suggestion, if you'll allow me. Keep them open for as long as you can. There are still people coming in from the countryside. Oh. What? He's telling her to go talk to Sansa. He told her to go talk to Sansa. Lady Sansa, I was hoping we could speak alone. What, go befriend her? Maybe. I thought you and I were on the verge of agreement before. About Sir Jamie. Brienne has been loyal to me. Always. I trust her more than anyone. I wish I could have that kind of faith in my advisors. Tyrion is a good man. He was never anything but decent towards me. I didn't ask him to be my hand simply because he was good. 
I asked him to be my hand because he was good and intelligent and ruthless when he had to be. He never should have trusted Cersei. You never should have either. True. <laughs> Very bold. I thought he knew his sister. Families are complicated. Oh, certainly have been. We have other things in common. We've both known what it means to lead people who aren't inclined to accept a woman's rule. And we've both done a damn good job of it, from what I can tell. And yet I can't help but feel we're at odds with one another. Why is that? Sansa looks crazy, bro. Like the whole gear, like she looks great. I love Maybe that. Maybe the best she one. I know. That. that bothers you. Men do stupid things for women. They're easily manipulated. <laughs> All my life, I've known one goal. The Iron Throne. Taking it back from the people who destroyed my family and almost destroyed yours. My war was against them. Until I met John. Now I'm here. Half a world away. Fighting John's war alongside him. Maybe Tell he's a manipulative. Manipulate. But it's not just go. John's war, it's everybody's war. I should have thanked you. The moment you arrived. That was a mistake. I'm here because I love your brother. And I trust him. And I know he's true to his word. He's only the second man in my life I can say that about. Who was the first? Someone taller. <laughs> <laughs> what happens afterwards? We defeat the dead. We destroy Cersei. What happens then? I take the Iron Throne. What about the North? It was taken from us. And we took it back. And we said we'd never bow to anyone else again. What about the North? Mm. Mm. I know. Apologies, my lady. Your grace. What is it? Yeah, what about the North, man? Yeah, Sansa fighting for the North, though. I like it. Oh, it's Spion. Look what the cat drug in. He looks... Look at his uniform. Or costume. What do you call it? <laughs> <clears throat> right. My queen. Your sister. She only has a few ships and she couldn't sail them here. So she's sailing to the Iron Islands instead to take them back in your name. But why aren't you with her? I want to fight for Winterfell, Lady Sansa. Oh. If you'll have me. Of course. I don't know, man. It'd still be hard to forgive him. He killed a lot of people close to Sansa. Yeah, but he saved her too from Ramsay. Yeah. I'd, I'd just see us as back to square. <laughs> Yeah. Look at Davos, man. Definitely a beautiful moment, though, guys. My lord, we're not soldiers. You are now. Look, I made it through most of my years without ever getting near a fight. But then I survived the Battle of the Bastards. They'll outfit you with weapons at the forge. Right that way. Mm. He's giving him the introductions to um, the military. The He's just out there whipping the up brown. <laughs> the safest place to be. Through that archway right over there. Aww. Thank you. Please, nothing happened to Gilly. <laughs> Which way should I go? Oh, that reminds him of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the children will be going below when the time comes. But both my brothers were soldiers. I want to fight too. That's good to hear. I'm going to be in the crypt with my son, and I'd feel a lot better with you down there to protect us. Oh, sure, that was so would. sweet. That was like a first Shireen moment. I love it. All right. I'll defend the crypt then. Hell yeah. I'm glad to have you. Oh no, who is it? <laughs> Let's go. Two D's. Like, where's me, lady? Oh, I thought we lost you. Almost. <laughs> Not the hugging type, I see. Right, yeah. <laughs> they don't know each other that well. <laughs> we find each other. We met up at the last half. The dead got there first. How did they manage to flank the dead, though? Like, how did they do the that? Fighting for the night king. Fast travel again. I guess they just went off the main road. We had to travel hard. around them to get here. There you go. Whoever's not here now is with them. Oh, no. How long do we have before the sun comes up tomorrow? <gasps> the war's tomorrow? They're they're not ready. The big woman still here. <laughs> <laughs> they're coming. Norman's the best. We have dragon glass. 
and Valyrian steel. Yes. Thanks again. Our enemy doesn't tire, doesn't stop, doesn't feel. We can't beat them in a straight fight. So what can we do? The Night King made them all. They follow his command. If he falls, getting to him may be our best chance. If that's true, he'll never expose himself. Yes, he will. He'll come for me. They're gonna use him like bait? He's tried before, many times, with many three-eyed ravens. Cause that's the <laughs> key to victory, probably. An endless night. There you go. He wants to erase this world, and I am its memory. Um, that's what death is, isn't it? System reboot factory Forget settings? It. Erase the hard drive? Being forgotten. If we Damn. forget where we've been and what we've done, we're not men anymore. Just animals. Your memories don't come from books. Your stories aren't just stories. If I wanted to erase the world of men, I'd start with you. Dang. How will he find you? His mark is on me. Wow. The tracker. He always device. knows where I am. We'll put you in the crypt where it's safest. No. We need to lure him into the open before his army destroys us all. I'll wait for him in the godswood. You want us to use you as bait? We're not leaving you alone out there. He won't be. I'll stay with him. We get with Theon. Theon. Let's go, Theon. Let's, yes. Stepping up, Theon. I took this castle from you. Let me defend you now. Just stay away from Theon Daisy. has the most stoic. Yeah. We'll hold all the non of all time as long as we can. When the time comes, Sir Davos and I will be on you the walls. Give you the pieces. signal to light the trench. Your Grace, I have fought before. I can do it again, alongside the men and women risking their lives. There are thousands of them, and only one of you. You Aww. can't fight as well as they can, but you can think better than any of them. You're here because of your mind. If we survive, I'll need it. The dragon should give us an edge in the field. Dragonfire will stop him. Maybe they can cover up the dragon with know. some branches. No one's ever tried <laughs> in the woods. We're all going to die. <laughs> At least we die together. <laughs> She's like, Ugh. She's thinking about Jamie. Some rest. Man, this is sad. You're crazy. That was cold, John. Do you need help? No. You've had a strange journey. Stranger than most. I'd like to hear about it. It's a long story. If only we were trapped in a castle. <laughs> in the middle of winter with nowhere to go. I would want to hear the story too, though. I'd pull up a chair myself. I don't know, man, if that's my last night to live. <laughs> but maybe I don't want to hear that story. Hello. It's the end of the world. Just say what's up. <laughs> Poor Masande. When Daenerys takes her throne, there will be no place for us here. I am loyal to my queen. I will fight for her until her enemies are defeated. But when the war is over and she has won, do you want to grow old in this place? I'd like to see the beaches again. This hurts because I feel like it's not going to happen. That's exactly what I was thinking. This I is like goodbye in a way. One of them is going to die in the long war, probably. We will protect you. <laughs> I don't want to see a iced out Grey Worm, guys. Me either. Or her. Sitting there trying to kill the queen. Mm -mm. Ghosty. We told her yet. No. She's like, don't mm -hmm. kill my vibe. John, don't kill my vibe. Be careful. That's why she, he's being so distant. And he's like, your race is going to go. Biding your time. Waiting for the perfect. Oh, like he ain't even making eye contact because that's his whole aunt. But do you see Sam giving him relationship advice now? Uh, yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> like, because he's like a married man at this point. Yeah, because at the beginning he would ask John, like, stuff. Begins. Gilly, little Sam. They'll be safe down in the crypt. Man, go in the crypt, Sam. If you want to join them. We won't take your man card away. We'll, we, we, we know. To protect them. Everyone seems to forget that I was the first man to kill a white walker. <laughs> I've killed Fens. Fens. Yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> more than once. I stole a considerable number of books from the Citadel Library. Survived yeah. the fist of the first men. You need me out there. Well, if that's where it's coming Straight to, warrior. you really are fucked. Well, calling you fucked wouldn't be strictly accurate. Nope. <laughs> Sam Wild Tarly. Slayer of white walkers. Lover of ladies. As if we need any more signs the world was ending. <laughs> Hundreds a night. <laughs> or he's not a night, but you know. Us, Gren, Pip. R.I.P. Homies. No, it's just us three. Last man left. Burn the rest of us. You know, it really sucks. I didn't take enough time to appreciate Ed in this. He, he's awesome. He's awesome. Yeah. Man. He could have. He could have been like Braun in a way. I wish Father were here. I would love to see the look on his face when he realizes <laughs> his two sons are about to die defending Winterfell. Oh. I think you already seen that look. Mm -hmm. It's probably about the same look. Same. I remember the first time we were here. 
you were a golden lion. I was a drunken whoremonger. <laughs> well, my golden lion days are done, but whoremongering is still an option for you. <laughs> It's not. Luisi doesn't like Things that. would be easier if it were. Perils of self-betterment. <laughs> <laughs> My lady. Oh, we didn't mean to interrupt. We were just looking for somewhere warm to... To contemplate your imminent death, you've come to the right place. Oh. If you want some of this piss, it's not bad. It's not good either. Thank you, my lord. I don't think that's wise. <laughs> the battle might start at any moment. Half a cup. <laughs> yes, coach. <laughs> and you? No. Thank you, I should try and get some sleep. <laughs> you really think any of us are going to sleep tonight? Join us. All right. Just a bit. The end of the world party. <laughs> Basically, yeah. What do we have here? So Davos, join us. Oh, oh yeah, me, I need thanks. night. Came here for this. Figured I could wait to die freezing my balls off out there. I was wondering, why is that place so spacious? There should be a crowd. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. It could be our last night in this world, you know? <laughs> Well aware. Yes, well, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> here, fighting with us. Glad you survived Eastwatch. Would you like a drink? <laughs> Brought my own. <laughs> Y'all wildlings weird. <laughs> they call you King Killer. I'm sure someone does. <laughs> it's something like they that. They call me Giant's Bane. Want to know why? No. <laughs> <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> Rian just so awkward around him, it's funny. I killed the giant when I was ten. Oh, okay. Then I climbed right into bed with his wife. <laughs> <laughs> she woke up. You know what she did? Suckled me at her teeth for three months. <laughs> Look at her face. Right? was a baby. <laughs> That's how I got so strong. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is he doing? What? Remember their culture, though. Yeah, but is anyone gonna interrupt this? <laughs> Please, someone say something. Maybe I will have that drink. Well, to be honest, he's hitting a smooth stride in his culture. <laughs> he kind of killed that. Yeah, if it was a bunch of wildlings around, they would have been like legend. <laughs> Me godfather. Does he like this? this tastes like piss. <laughs> this is such a feel good episode. I'm loving it. I know. It's just like a bunch of like reunions mm -hmm. before the end of the world. Look at <laughs> just chugging his drink. You never used to shut up. Now you're just sitting there like a mute. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing up here? What's it look like? No, I mean, what are you doing up here? You joined the Brotherhood. You won't be on the wall with John. You're here now. Why? When was the last time you fought for anyone but yourself? I fought for you, didn't I? Oh, for fuck's sake. Here's what we had a bloody wedding. <laughs> <laughs> He's always My pulling lady. up to get on his nerves. <laughs> Good to see you again. I'm sorry we parted the way we did. Was he on your list? <laughs> for a little while. Oh, <laughs> he was? That's all right. The Lord of Light has brought us together all the same. This is his moment. When light Taurus trucks. isn't here anymore, so I hope you're not about to give a sermon. Because if you are, the Lord of Light's gonna wonder why I brought you back 19 times just to watch you die when I chuck you over this fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> and he just he just loves that. He's like, oh Clegane. Just a little sassy one. Where are you going? I'm not spending my final hours with you two miserable old shits. <laughs> What's she about to go do? On Gendry. <laughs> oh, she's about to go get on House Baratheon? Oh, no. Nah. That's not our girl's style. That for me? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, man. Thanks, a no one spear. This'll work. Last time you saw me, you wanted me to come to Winterfell. I took the long road, but... What did the Red Woman want with you? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you worried, Arya? She wanted my blood. Some kind of spell. <laughs> Why your blood? I'm Robert Baratheon's bastard. I didn't know until she told me. And she tied me up, stripped me down, put leeches all over me. Was that your first time? Uh, yeah, I'd never had leeches put all over your me. Your first time <laughs> with a woman? What? I, I didn't... I wasn't with her. Were you with other girls before that in King's Landing? Or after? Just say no. 
You don't remember? No, I'm just gonna tell the truth. I'll be like, yes, why are you worried? One, two, twenty. Oh, I didn't keep count. Yes, you did. <sighs> We're probably going to die soon. I ought to know what it's like before that happens. Loki wasn't expecting that. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess in a way, Robert Rathian said we can join the house as Ned. Yeah, and here he goes. It'll be in great, the, Ned. It looks like in the same spot he said that. <laughs> Basically, in this world, don't nobody know who their dang kids are. I know. I would just make up my name. I'm like, I'm Brooke Snow. My dad's actually the king. I'm Anthony Bolton. <laughs> Dang, she was like a shark. I'm not the red woman. Take your own bloody pants off. <laughs> she just assumed that she did that? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like my baby daughter's doing this, and I'm just like, her. <laughs> it's strange, isn't it? Almost everyone here has fought the Starks at one time or another. And oh, yeah, here we no are in there. the castle, ready to defend it. Well, maybe the Starks Together. think that great, then. <laughs> Everybody seems to have beef with them. At least we'll die with honor. I think we might live. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. That's so scary. How many battles have we survived between us? Sir Davos Seaworth, survivor of both the Blackwater and the Battle of the Bastards. All without a shred of combat ability. Mm. <laughs> Sir Brienne of Tarth defeated the Hound. Pardon me, Lady Brienne. She's not a sir. You're not the knight. Women can't be knights. Why not? Tradition. Fuck tradition. I didn't even want to be a knight. She definitely wants to be a knight. Right, that's like her dream. I'm no king. But if I were, I'd knight you ten times over. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You don't need a king. <laughs> Any knight can make another knight. Dang, you can make a civil knight? He's an attorney now. I'll prove it. Kneel, Lady Brienne. Oh, no stop. shot. Stop, 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 stop. Do you want to be a knight or not? Kneel. And it's by Jamie, too. That's the word. Like, I mean, the best, but like, you know, yeah, like the, the worst dreams. possible thing to not like, make you cry right now. 100%. Your dream came true, Brienne of Dark. Well deserved. <laughs> <laughs> Dormant. In the name of the warrior, I charge you to be brave. She's like, check. In the name yep. of the father. Double check. I charge you to be just. In the name of the mother, I charge you to defend the innocent. <laughs> I'd like you go, coach. Arise, Brienne of Tarth, a knight of the Seven Kingdoms. Title. Oh. <laughs> I love how the hype Brienne he is. Brienne of Top, Knight of the Seven Kingdoms. Yeehaw. Let's go. Ooh, that was good. You go, Jamie. Oh, look at her smile. She's cheesing. <laughs> Listen to me. You're the future of our house. I don't need you to remind me of that. <laughs> be safer in the crib. These things were fighting. I will not hide underground. I pledge to fight for the North, and I will fight. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. It's all right. We're done here. <laughs> I wish you good fortune, cousin. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got there? It's called Hearts Bay. It's my family sword. You still have a family? Yes, and I'd love to defend them with it. <laughs> but I can't let really it hold it upright. <laughs> <laughs> Your father, he taught me how to be a man. Let's go, man. Aww. To do what's right. Stop. These moments are hurting. Someone's going right. to die. Valerian steel. Is that tough? Be if you take it. I know. <laughs> Another moment. He healed you and then gives you, like, that's what I'm sitting there a, thinking. A, a like, legendary the, sword. Yeah, these relationship dynamics are I'm really beautiful right now. Memory. Oh. To guard the realms of men. I'll see you when it's through. Oh. God, this next episode is going to be tough if the war's here. 
I'm starting to realize when this show's finally over, it's probably gonna hurt my feelings. I'm gonna be sad. I hope we win. I'm gonna miss it. Me too, brother. Because I can feel the closure coming, man. There's closure all over the place right now. We better get some rest. No, let's stay a bit longer. Or out the wine. <laughs> How about a song? One Tormin. of you must know. I picked Tormin. She's like, I'm just going to take my wins tonight. Yeah. <laughs> High in the halls of the kings who are gone. Jenny would dance with her ghost. Okay, Padraig. <laughs> I'm saying. She had lost and the ones she had found. And the ones who had loved her the most. The ones who'd been gone. This for is like on Lord of the Rings, remember? <laughs> when he's like, sing me a song. Remember the name. And then he sings that extremely emotional. Yeah. around on the damp old stone. Spun away all her sorrow and pain. And she never wanted to leave. Never wanted to leave. Never wanted to leave. I hope nothing happens to them. Please Never no. wanted no. to leave. Never wanted to Dang. leave. Never wanted to leave. Is he about to tell her right now? Before the war? In the crypts? Oh, is he down no. there contemplating like who he is and all that? She's probably like, um, why are you not talking to me? Because that moment, that's the only... To be honest, I'm just sitting here anticipating that moment this whole episode. Yeah, I've been anticipating the whole series. Well, since we found out, you know? Like, since that moment, I've been waiting. Who's that? Is that Leanna? Leanna Stark. My brother, Rhaegar. Everyone told me he was decent and kind. He liked to sing. Gave money to poor children. And he raped her. He didn't. He loved her. Mm. They were married in secret. After Rhaegar fell on the trident, she had a son. Robert would have murdered the baby if he ever found out, and Lyanna knew it. So the last thing she did, as she bled to death on her birthing bed, was give the boy to her brother, Ned Stark, to raise as his bastard. My name. <laughs> My real name. What is her face gonna do? I know. Is Aegon Targaryen? <gasps> That's impossible. I wish it were. Who told you this? Bran. He saw it. He saw it? And Samwell confirmed it. He read about their marriage at the Citadel without even knowing what it meant. A secret no one in the world knew. Except your brother and your best friend. Oh, that... I didn't think about that. strange to you? It's true, Danny. Yeah, you I saw me. I hopped on that dragon. Yeah. He'd have bucked me off. If it were true, it would make you the last male heir. House Targaryen. He'd have a claim to the Iron Throne. He probably doesn't want it. Right, like, oh, then war interrupts. Oh, man. Man, you should have told her after. It's time. What if she seeks out Sam and kills him because of that little news? Right. What if it's like not even about that for her now? Gimli needed that wall. They look like an old washed up rock band, don't they? Mm hmm. Like Motley Crue. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of look like NPCs. Game time, baby. Woo! What an episode, guys. Holy cow, man. I know that in the beginning of the show, there was so much genius level writing and all that. And I understand the timeline speeding up and I know things are moving and I get that there's probably going to be a lot of discontent with how fast everything's wrapping up. Trust me, man. I get it. We all want more Game of Thrones. This mm -hmm. show's the shit, man. Get it. Sorry for cussing. <laughs> 
Sorry for cussing, man. Probably, but it's true. It definitely true. have to bleep that out. Babe, what happened in this episode? Because this was honestly one of the best ones. I just want to talk about that moment between Jamie and Brienne. Oh, my gosh. So let's talk best. about it chronologically, and we'll get there. But to me, hands down, that was that was just such a good moment. And it was so good because during that moment, babe, <laughs> I was just thinking about where we were in terms of our YouTube channel. You know, when she was down in that pit fighting that bear yeah. at that point. Yeah. Where we were, like me and you, where we were at, you know, like. It was winter still at yeah. that point, and like we were moving, so it that meant a lot. Memories, yeah, yeah, that meant a lot. Really loved that moment, and John, John broke the news. So Daenerys didn't seem didn't seem too interested in hearing <laughs> that. She immediately, you know, called propaganda on that. So what do you think? Right, she well, so Daenerys is, you know, she came over because she basically believed it was Grumpkins and Snarks at first, but then she fell in love with John. Right. So and she admitted that, but. So her coming over here, yeah, that's like a big deal. But then her coming over here and then hearing her whole thing is Ill illegitimate. Like I, if I was her, I would also feel kind of, you know, taken back by that because not only did have I went through all this stuff, I've united all these people, but then I've walked through fire, I've birthed dragons and you're telling me I'm not the rightful heir, but I've done all this stuff. My resume is huge and I'm not the one that would make me feel weird too, you know? I mean, I feel like that's the thing about the show. You can put yourself in everyone's position and really understand it. Nothing's different with Daenerys. Like, seriously, I get it. And from her perspective, it's like you would be a fool to not believe that someone would try to lie to you in every type of way to undercut undercut your claim, basically. Right. Like illegitimize you yeah. as much as possible. But it, it just so happens that the two people, like a brother and a best friend, happen to be the ones that are like the literary ones and the CCTV. So it just so happens that it was those two. So from Daenerys's point of view, it's like, hmm, like those people probably just told you that to, you know, make you feel good. Like not because for either real. that or you conspired the whole thing. Right. Or it, maybe you this whole thing's it, been yeah. conspired the whole time. Right. I mean, if you're you think about it, you're a bastard. You have mm -hmm. no name. If you have any type of scheme and ability, anyone could come to the conclusion that I mean, I've, I've mentioned it several times in the show. I would lie about who I was. Yeah. Because no one knows. They don't really keep records. I mean, I guess they do at the Citadel, but not anyone can just go down there and pull records on you like that. Right. It's not like they have the internet. And Sam was doing it just because he was having to just like rewrite scrolls and stuff like that. He It was a punishment. Yeah. So he, he found out like just by the grace of God or by luck. Right. Jorah is basically right back in Daenerys' ear. He's basically playing Hand of the Queen and... You know, which he he really deserves that title because he's wise, he's a good person, and at the end of the day, he really cares about Daenerys in a way that Tyrion doesn't. Tyrion's motivations are completely different than his in a way. Right, he but loves Jorah her. stuck up for Tyrion to say, like, Tyrion's a good man. I don't think that Jorah should necessarily be the hand. I'm just saying that as an advisor, as, like, her most trusted, I love it. Like, right. I love that I love position. that, too, yeah. He basically told her, hey, you need to go get Tyrion another chance. Don't be hard on Tyrion. Right now, it's more important to show that even if she thinks Tyrion's being a doof lately, she could go and be like, Tyrion, you're brilliant. I need you. I love you. And she could just completely change. She could basically change the momentum. Like She could put that in the atmosphere, and she could change all the energy in the universe towards positivity. It, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I'm having a hard time articulating that. but Yeah, I know what you're trying to for say. For sure. And then you know she went and she tried to make things right with Sansa. But then it became very apparent that Something's got to give with the idea that she demands 100% loyalty right. and fealty to her. Because Sansa's over here like, but what about the North? Like, I just need to know the North has something. Like, then what? When After, after you take the Iron Throne? Because it seems to, like like you said, Danny just seems like that's the most important thing to her. Even though, you know, she's fighting with this war. She's going to participate in the war. This and that. Still, if you don't bend the knee, it's still important to her. Like, that... That whole stance is still important. To her. And like I said, I can understand where she's coming from because, you know, if what you're demanding is to be, you know, queen of the Andals and the first man and all the titles, 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 you can't say, OK, all that's cool. But the North's cool, you know, the North, you know, because then everyone's going to have that same mentality. The minute they, they don't like your rule, they're just going to demand right. independence. And then that's going to cost just a lot of internal strife. So. It's an impossible situation, but that's life, right? She has I mean, to basically really earn the, the Norse trust somehow, and they they did pre they did say that they, they should get married, which it just seems like it's too soon for that because I mean they're not gonna have time to do anything like that. And with John with that secret, it just wasn't gonna happen. It seemed like the vibe that I'm getting though is there is no winning their trust. So my thing is, 
the people of the north don't mind a king, but it has to be a northern king and they have to be an independent north. So it has to have a stark name, right? You can be, yeah, you can be the greatest person in the history of the world, sure, but if you're not born and bred in the north, then you know what are you doing over here? And so she just she's never gonna win that fight. But if John becomes the ruler, then all of a sudden the North could possibly get behind the idea of uniting the seven kingdoms again. Possibly. Because right now we have a we have basically a division like we don't have seven kingdoms we basically have six in the independent right north. right it's, it's really messed up right now in terms of like the division right. and but either all these war, all these regions have to completely separate and be independent of each other and like learn to coexist or they're all gonna have to reunite but there's no in between i don't think no yeah i don't know i, I really love that end of the war part i mean end of the world party to me because not only was the nighting moment, but just the feel good of like everyone. I didn't realize it until the end that there was no Starks there. And just every person that like along the journey was they're all end up fighting for the Starks, although they've all had internal strifes with the Starks. Yeah. At some point you have reason to like hate all these characters. And it's just a, it's just such a full circle thing. I mean, even Theon was there. And guys, you know, I give Theon a hard time, but mm -hmm. I love the character. The young man who plays Theon, the actor. I mean, that guy is just I. Something about his ability to just look stoically into a camera and just bring out emotion in you. So I'm hard on the dude, man, but only only because he killed two innocent kids. And but that, that's the only reason. But I love his character. He's such an incredible actor. I, I'm glad that he's there. I thought it was a beautiful way to like not really end his story because I guess we haven't reached the end of it. But right. we're getting there. And so far, he's on the right track to redemption in my mind. So really really love that it's sort of at the point in the show where i don't really want to like hate on anybody i don't have any ill will i just want the best for the people right so many people have been through so much um i love i love how jorah said to liana right before he was like hey we need you to go down to the crypts to protect our house basically because jorah's house mormont too yeah. which was cool to see them finally come together like mm -hmm. i was waiting for that moment but it was cool for jorah to kind of be like hey you need to do this. And Leanna's like, um, no. The little <laughs> like, girl with the no ma'am. With the scars on her face. That yeah. was a beautiful moment. I thought it was just the sweetest thing in the world. How they basically mm -hmm. tricked her into thinking that she was being brave. And you know, and, and she was, you know. And they basically tricked her into going and saving herself because that was just that was just a young lady who had she's just seen it all and she, you know, there was no saving her from herself, man. And I just thought that it was really a touching episode. It was so good. It, it was so good. I All thought of it was good. Pod I thought, singing was good. <laughs> I thought him giving up the sword right. back to Jorah was awesome. Oh I mean, gosh. such a full circle moment there. Um, yeah, because, you know, Jorah did have a Valyrian steel sword, but it's Jon Snow's as Longclaw. Like, yeah. that's their house sword. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool for Jorah to have another Valyrian steel sword back in return because maybe he needs it. Like, maybe he'll make a, something good will happen with it. He'll do something fire with it. And Tormund, obviously, just... Stole the show this episode. Yeah, it's so funny, man. Yeah, so funny. like if you didn't, if you were on the fence about if you like Tormund or not, you definitely liked him after no this episode. No one's on the fence if you like Tormund. <laughs> I, one, one thing I can say is never have we received a negative comment about Tormund ever. Right. Tor Tormund is funny. He's so <laughs> funny. He's so funny. And his, the way he simps for Brienne's hilarious. It's the dynamic's <laughs> so funny yeah. because he is the god opposite of jamie yeah <laughs> and like he wants her so bad and she doesn't really come out and say it but dude she really wants jamie dude yeah so she does it's just really funny how it's just so jagged right there none of that makes any sense and jamie's so indifferent to brianne but he genuinely respects her like as right a human. yeah because he has no yeah. sexual interest in brianne at all right. though so it's just Maybe he and does, no matter but how hard like you you want for him to like her like that he's just not going to i feel like I feel like Cersei's his one only woman. But maybe opinion. at this point, maybe, maybe they will because Jamie's finally, you Left know, like a woman like role. Cersei's like a, like a cancer. Yeah. You're around her, dude, and she'll get her claws in you. And next thing you know, mm -hmm. you won't even be able to perceive your reality correctly, dude. You'll be walking around angry about junk you ain't even supposed to be mad about. <laughs> All because she, she's like toxic, you know, and she's. Yeah. And, and I don't know, maybe Jamie will finally, you know, go for who, you know, who should. I don't want to try to say in any type of way like she's not like an attractive lady or anything. That's not what I'm trying to say. But maybe like on the inside, she's a good person. Because I, I mean, I think she's she's not like an unattractive lady or well, anything. I mean, but the narrative in the show yeah. is that she's like a big brute. Well, they yeah really they sure. they call her Brienne the Beauty as like a as a troll, you know. Exactly. It's so, a mocker. So, but but to us, like of course, she's there's nothing wrong with her. But you know, they're supposed to portray her as something like right. But 
I, I'm loving I'm loving that Jamie even took his Kingslayerness down there to even because you know he did kill Daenerys' father and then he just shows up and he's like you know I said I was fighting for the living here I am like I, I really love that he's redeeming himself in that way which means if he's fighting for the living and if the way that materializes is him abandoning Cersei. I mean, that just begs the question in his mind is Cersei fighting for death and destruction and self aggrandizement and all, you know, keep throwing words out there that can describe Cersei. So maybe his perception of her has completely changed. And then he had a very honest moment with Tyrion where Tyrion basically told him, dude, you always knew what she was. You but just he loved, loved her, her anyways. anyways. Yeah. And Jamie was like, I can't deny it. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, yeah. basically, yeah, ba you're right. Good moment. Um, with this episode coming up, but there's like a war happening, of course, right. and it's like you know at the footsteps. But what is your predictions on that? Well, what do not, you think? No, no, no. We got one more thing to talk about. Oh, uh, Arya, oh. Arya, Arya, the the young little Arya, the girl who started out as just a little girl, got nasty on the TV screen, <laughs> and I don't have an opinion about it. But in my mind, she's just that little girl Arya. So that was kind of crazy to see her and Gendry. But I mean, you can see it coming. But it, it was funny because other. because you were right. Whenever they said, but she's not a kid anymore. Whenever Robert said our houses will join, and he was in the crypts, and you like kind of had a flashback to that moment because in our minds at the moment he said that it was to me Sansa and Joffrey. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but obviously. I'm so I was so off. So you know what I'm That's what I was saying. Like he said that, and he didn't even realize that it was going to come to fruition like that. And but what he didn't realize is it's going to be with one of his random kids. He don't even know because <laughs> no one knows who their kids are in this. Like the Steve Wilco show would go crazy in this and world. And guys, clearly we know. Literally, we're not saying they're joining their houses, but it was just like the way it was in the crypt. It was a flashback to when he said it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's not. We know they're not joining it. Right. You know, right. we're not being so literal. Okay. Right. But. That yeah, that was that was fun. It, I I don't really know what Sansa was doing in the moment. What was Sansa up to during all that stuff? What was she doing? Chilling. She's always just chilling somewhere, <laughs> sewing some stuff. Yeah. But um. Well, and I know a lot of people probably hate Sansa right now because you know we got that comment that I mentioned. You know, I I get how people probably don't like Sansa's like attitude toward everything. I think in her mind, she just has absolutely no room for weakness. She has right. no room for foolery, and she basically has no room to be tricked because Littlefinger basically got like every, every flaw about Sansa that was going to lead her to like, you know, do something stupid and foolish and childish. Littlefinger came through and just right. made sure that he taught her all the lessons. So, right. I even have more, a little more to that, in my opinion, on Sansa. I think that so Sansa just doesn't want to go off to a family that's killed her family again. So she wants to stay in the North and stay there. She doesn't want to go anywhere else again. So I, that's why I think she's so. I mean, once you, know. you once you sit there and you see someone behead your dad, and then you get married off, you know, she didn't just get to experience the corruption of society; like she got to live it in the most intimate possible way. I mean, she was married off to two to two crazies, the to, two craziest. Right. So I can see how people are like man, Sansa, so, but like, dude, if you get married to guys like that, let me see how you act after. So all this titles and oaths and all that garbage i can understand how in sansa's mind like the hell with all that dude i just want an independent north and i'm about to run it and if you, uh, she's kind of like i can understand maybe she's going to become a little bit like cersei yeah like screw everyone because dude, cersei the, the same way she got married off to all this nonsense and she does get a well. lot of influence from cersei in right. that way you know so she's a reflection kind of just like you know every woman that's taught her a little something she is a little catelyn in her she is a little cersei Got a little little finger. Yeah, a little little finger. Yeah, the little finger was, yeah. You know, you yeah. Know. yeah. But yes, thank you, finger. But she's just a lot of these characters now, and that's why the, it's such like full circle moments. All these characters have like little tidbits of their journey. Podrick, even with Brienne, you know what I'm saying? We see Podrick out there just dominating some guy, and it's just feel good because. And not only was he dominating them, he was looking at him like, "Son, why are you even <laughs> trying? Like, like what you, know you who doing? <laughs> like, what I'm you doing?" Legend, and then Janelle. and then he outshines Ed Shireen with the vocals like come on right you know so th this is just i'm i'm loving this i, I you think that's what he did to those ladies back in the day you think he just sang <laughs> when they them? when they hand him all the gold back yeah, you think he just started singing he, he was, was like, so Nelson. nervous <laughs> he's like i pledge allegiance <laughs> to the flame maybe he's saying the um reigns of castamere maybe that's what got him going yeah maybe so but um anyways let's talk about the next what what are your predictions well, man, my predictions are... Are they going to make it? I mean, yeah, I think that I think that humanity will live on, you know? I think 
I think we're gonna lose some characters because this is Game of Thrones, and you guys are letting us know that you know things don't have happy endings in no the story. One so I if think, you thought this was a happy ending, you're you're wrong or something. <laughs> basically, man, I think we're gonna lose some characters. I'm not gonna sit here and guess who because at that point, I'm basically literally just guessing, just making just stuff put, up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think we'll definitely lose characters. I don't know how long this battle will last mm -mm. or anything, but I think the living will survive. And then I think that there's going to be some pieces left. I th uh, Basically, what I think is going to happen, man, is I think everyone's going to defeat the army of the dead. And then Cersei's going to be chilling down there. She's going to be so completely in this whole different mind space of everyone else on the planet because she didn't really have to see and experience all that. She was yeah. basically isolated from the whole incident. She was locked away in King's Landing. Uh, stirring away in her madness and her own obsessions and maybe I think you're that, on there maybe he's not <laughs> i think it's just gonna be somehow or another they're just gonna have to get rid of cersei i think right. i really do i think that obviously the kingdom can't move forward with cersei in power there's just no, no way i mean uh, things can be worse without cersei for sure that's not what i'm saying but things aren't gonna get better and the show's been promising us a utopia since the beginning and i know that's probably not gonna happen obviously but we can at least strive to get there a little better so um but basically what i'm getting from the war though i'm sorry to interrupt you about that i just was wanted to say what i think i think like there's gonna be like two key characters which is brand on our side and the night king on their side so basically there's a lot of like armies to come at you but basically they're two key components if you get rid of one you win if you get rid of the other you win i know what i think is gonna happen I so just i think together. one of them has to go and i don't know which one it's gonna be Bran whoops Night King. Night King like dies. Bran says, I know things. Cersei's planning X, Y, Z. And then boom, they go take out Cersei. Oh, really? Bran confirms. Confirms that. Bran confirms that John is who he says he is because boom, big flashback. Bran uses powers. Next thing you know, Daenerys is walking around. She sees Drogo, all this stuff. She gets all emotional. The next thing you know, she realizes he's telling the truth. I think they put their egos aside. They become basically besties because, you know, it's like they said, basically you have two, like an honorable person and a brave person or whatever Tyrion and Bear said. And I think they're going to go basically use Bran and that's going to help them beat Cersei, if that makes sense. And I right. think Cersei is going to do something absolutely crazy, something epic, something insane because she's already done it before. You're just be thinking finale. so long term, and I'm just the like series is I'm just over. asking like the, this battle. And you're well, the going, next battle, this, the next battle is an episode, and then we got a few more left. This series is about to be over. Well, yeah, you're right, but, but I'm I mean, just talking about in general. Well, like, I thought I just, you meant what's going to happen because we just figured out that like John isn't who we thought he was. Yeah, that's we what just, I'm saying. There's like prophecies at stake. There's things them. like this. There's there's internal strifes. There's prophecies. There's you know a lot of things that are going to happen, and I feel like. For this to be one of the best battles apparently in history or whatever they say because they say the, the lord of the rings one and this one's really good or maybe they meant the battle of the bastards but anyways i know game of thrones has some battle that's like supposed to be top notch all of them well all of them every but, episode but no but for real there is supposed to be one that's supposed to be like one of the best historically of like yeah good i think it's this one or it could be battle of the bastards because that one was really good pick one well i don't i'm not sure but i just, i just was saying i don't I don't know, really know what I was saying. Forget it. Guys, we was just saying that we're having the time of our lives watching Game of Thrones. Uh, so many people out there has been supporting us while we've been watching these videos. That's pretty awesome to us, man. It really does blow us away. How much support genuinely, like sometimes we upload these and next thing you know, within like a couple hours, we'll have over a thousand likes on the video and it's whatever, man. But that's pretty crazy to us. I genuinely didn't think we'd ever even have 500 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for supporting it. With a show this good, I can definitely understand and I know there's a lot of people out there who probably react to this show. Definitely go check those people out too, because uh, I've even mentioned it before. When we're done with this, I will probably definitely check somebody out reacting to this because I'm gonna want to watch it again. But I realize, you know, we're pretty committed to our craft over here, and I don't exactly have all the time in the world to watch stuff, you know, especially not experiencing with you guys. So maybe I'll have to watch like a condensed version, yeah, watching someone's reaction, even if it's our own. But I might experience it with like another reactor. I have no idea who. Comment below who you guys <laughs> think is awesome. And dude, we're just we're just gonna keep on checking out Game of Thrones. I'm sad because it's almost over. Like I get that, but I'm really excited for the future because I know we're hopping on House of Dragons. So like, comment, subscribe, hit us up on Patreon. You got anything else you want to say, sweetie? No, I'm just I can't wait for this war. It's gonna be so exciting, and I really hope the Night King dies. Yeah, me too, man. I hope they I hope they put an arrow in them just like they did that poor dragon. So 
Oh, I was thinking though, do you think Daenerys is gonna be upset? Like, is Daenerys gonna have to kill her own other dragon again? Like, the ice one? Yeah, like how hard would that be for her, you know? Probably gonna be hard. Like, are the dragons gonna have to fight? Is Jon gonna ride a dragon? Like, I mean, think about it. If I was sitting there and I was an ice zombie trying to kill you, would it be hard for you to kill me? Probably not, right? Because I'm an ice zombie. You just gotta cat me at that point. Maybe. All right, guys. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one.